Today we are visiting with the owner of Southeastern Pond Management and the inspiration of the new L2 live well system, Norm Latona. For over 30 years, Southeastern Pond Management has been the leading expert in the South managing our water's most treasured assets, our fish. They understand that lakes and rivers hold more than water, they hold memories, and they know how important it is to pass down those moments to future generations. Since the beginning, Norm and his team have been delivering fishery solutions for customers of all sizes, and they take exceptional pride in conservation. Being a fisherman himself, he knows the sport of fishing and the conservation of trophy fish can coexist with the right technology. It has been a passion of Norm's for years to see technology optimized in the bass boat industry to deliver the proper protection for our resources. I would say that largemouth bass mortality is much higher than what we generally think it is in fishing tournaments, particularly when the water temps get up above 70 degrees and sometimes much higher than that. A lot of these fish are caught in deep water, relatively deep water, and the temperatures are significantly cooler where these fish are caught than, than the surface temps. And so what happens is we bring these fish up to the surface and we unhook them and we handle them as carefully as we can and we drop them into a live well that has got surface water in it which is much much higher temperature and as a result much lower oxygen just totally different water chemistry than what they've been living in for days or hours or days or weeks and over time uh, again they get they, they suffer temperature stress and oxygen stress so the signs that you see are again Sometimes they'll get cloudy-eyed, they get real lethargic, they'll start sloughing scales, they start sloughing that slime coat. Uh, that, that slime coat on the outer, on the exterior of a fish, on, the out, on their skin, is really their protective coat. It's what keeps uh, bacteria and parasites and, and, and harmful agents from getting into their skin. And what happens to these fish is they get stressed. And so you don't get immediate mortality, I mean, occasionally, fish that dies, it gets handled, it's rough, it gets beat up, and you know, it's obvious the fish is, is, is dead in the live well. But more often, these fish get stressed. Uh, they get under temperature stress and oxygen stress, and they are, become susceptible to diseases, to bacterial infections, and so we get what we call delay mortality. I mean, every, every bass angler I know cares more about the bass they catch than anybody. I mean, they they, they do anything to, to keep these fish alive. It's just they don't know what they don't know, and they don't have the tools to keep to keep the fish alive. It's 80% mortality. You know, they'll swim off, a lot of them. They don't survive. There's no reason that or any of these guys are gonna come out and acknowledge this, this mortality rate I mean, it's counterintuitive to what they're doing. They don't want people to know about this. Well, we all know it's happening. I mean, if you talk to fisheries people, I mean, this is a this is a, a, a very poorly kept secret. And you know, we can pump lots and lots of water, uh, but that's not really what's hurting the fish. What's hurting them is the temperature and the oxygen level. So, uh, being able to control those factors is the key to it. I don't. We don't need fresh water. We need water that we can control and we can add chemicals to, we can add salt, we can put additives. Some of these additives that the uh, fishing community has adopted, they're, they're great products. But you can imagine if you put them in a live well and you're pumping fresh water in from the surface of the lake, that stuff's gone as soon as it just runs right out of the spillway and it's gone and you constantly have to replenish it. So my, my concept is let's control uh, the water that's in the live well. Let's make sure that we have control over temperature, over oxygen as a result, and the volume of water. And as long as we do that, keep the fish relatively, you know, all the technology that, that, that you guys have been able to implement with anti-sloshing and things like that to keep the fish from getting physically beat up. Those are the elements that are gonna keep those fish alive so that when they're released, they swim off and go find their, their happy again. So a couple of years back when uh, 
and he has reached out to me uh, and had questions about uh, keeping fish alive in bass boats. It was uh, music to my ears. I mean, I've thought forever that, the, that there needed to be a revolution in, in live well systems and bass boats. Uh, we're kind of going about it, going, going about it all wrong. Um, there are elements that we can control in live wells that undoubtedly uh, improve the odds that a fish can survive being kept in captivity for a period of time and then released. And so, as I said, it's music to my ears when you guys approach me and have these questions. Uh, this is what we do for a living. We transport fish. It's no different than putting them in a live well in a bass boat and what we do. We put fish in transport tanks and keep them for hours, sometimes longer, uh, move them from point A to point B and re-release them healthy. Uh, that's the whole goal. So the idea that we can take some of these critical elements that we've been putting in practice in our business for years and incorporate them into a live well system in a bass boat is, is fantastic. It's going to change the game. It's going to lead to a revolution in my view in, 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 uh, in the way that these bass boats are designed, live well systems are designed. So the live well system that we're dealing with here uh, is, is remarkable in terms of its ability to control the key elements, uh, specifically temperature and oxygen content, and uh, will lead to a much higher survival rate for bass that are caught in tournaments throughout the season, throughout the year. That was the part to me in concept. I'm going, yeah, well, just do this and do this and hit these magic buttons and create this thing, but y'all actually created it. And that's what's so remarkable to me is to build that system, to have a concept for it's one thing, but then to actually make it work is, is the part that's so cool. Standing here in a fish harvest, it is easy to understand how protecting fish resources requires controlling every component of the environment profile. Biologists have been doing this for years, and he thinks it's remarkable to finally be able to do it in a live well system. Norm believes that the L2 live well system is more than a piece of innovation in a boat. He feels it is a new standard that should be available across the entire industry, and it will set the tone for our conservation ecos. Yeah, I'm, I'm truly excited to be a small part uh, in developing a system that's going to revolutionize the way bass are handled and, and treated in, in live well systems and bass boats. And, uh, you know, I hope, I hope uh, that one day soon, uh, virtually every bass boat uh, that you see out in, in these fishing tournaments will, will have these, the, this system, this L2 system, uh, and it'll lead to, again, much greater catch and release rates, uh, much higher rates of survival uh, throughout the entire bass fishing, bass tournament fishing industry.